This video has been made possible by Rebus Farm, the professional render service. Hey guys, and welcome back to MA Tutorials. Well, uh, today we're going to do a fun little project. We're going to look at how to animate end cloth. Okay? Now you can use uh, end cloth obviously to simulate cloth, uh, clothing, and so forth. You can use it to create hair and a lot of other cool stuff. Okay? There are a lot of presets and so forth. Uh, this is kind of a spin-off on a video that I did yesterday where I used air and end cloth and in this video we're going to animate that end cloth. Okay, here we go. Okay guys, here we go. Well, just in case you're wondering what that is that is sitting on the grid right there, uh, obviously I'm going to explain that, but what we're going to do in this video today is kind of do a little follow-up on the video that I did yesterday where I showed you guys how to create a pirate sail uh, using end cloth and apply air to it to uh, respond, okay? Now, what I mentioned in that video is that that's a good technique if you want to um, have that sail in position and then freeze your image and uh, render it out as a still image. But what if you want your end cloth object to move around and to be connected to a object, okay? So that's what we're gonna do in this video today. Uh, I'll just take this setup here and quickly hide it. I'll hit the control H uh, Let's do that in object mode Okay, so that's hidden and I'll just show you how I did that. I'm just going to take a, a polygon Cylinder F to zoom in R to scale down like so and then I took a polygon cylinder and it's over there of course W to move that over E to rotate, hold on J as you snap it down. I am going to go in to control A to my attribute editor and I'm going to give this 40 subdivisions in height, which is quite important for the simple reason that this will be your end cloth object and it has to be able to deform, otherwise, you're not going to have any effect. Okay, I'm just scaling that down a bit, like so. So now if we zoom in, this is basically what we got. Okay. Now what I did next is I turned that object into an end cloth. I'll just move this into place. Let's have a look from the top here. I have to zoom in. Looks okay. So what I did is I selected that and I went into end cloth and create end cloth. I'll just close that down here. So what happens when we do that, if I now hit play on my keyboard, it will just simply fall straight down. Now, the system is lagging quite a bit because that other object that I just uh, hid uh, is running as well. That's why it's so slow, okay? Okay, and we're going to stop there. Now, that's fine because it's now an end cloth object and gravity has been added to it. That's why it's reacting that way. Second thing is I want this to stay attached to this and I don't want this to go through this, okay? So I'm first gonna select this guy and I'm gonna go to, uh, let's see, end cloth and I'm gonna go to create passive collider. That will uh, allow this to stay as a solid object and this won't go through, okay? And then the second step is to right click on this guy, go to vertex drag select that entire first row of vertices shift select this guy and go up to field uh, no go up to end constraint sorry and then go to point to surface so i did two things right now i attached the end cloth to this guy and i made this a collidable object all right so now if i hit play and again it will take a while because of the other set that's going on you can clearly see that it's falling, but it stays attached to this object as I want it to do. And as it falls down, it will not go through the object, but collide with it. All right, cool. So that brings us to the hidden object. And I'll just get rid of this in object mode. Come on, there we go. I'm going to go to display and show all. So what I did in this object is basically exactly what we just did. I just copied over more of these elements here. Okay. So if we hit play on this guy, we'll see the exact same what just happened. All the end cloth sections will start to fall down. And there you go. Which is good. 
but it's not necessarily animated, okay? So we're just gonna stop this and we're gonna jump back to frame one. And what I'm gonna do is, uh, okay, hi Maggie. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close this. I am going to keyframe this guy, right? So I got it selected, I'm at frame one, okay? I'm gonna hit S to keyframe it. And then I'm gonna move to, let's say frame 20. And I'm gonna pull this up and nothing else will move now, but that's fine, don't worry about it. Let's say there, and I'll keyframe it again. I'll then drag it to frame 40. Come on, frame 40, 39, whatever, it's fine. And I'll move it to the left. And I'll hit S again, and then I'll go to, let's say, it doesn't really matter that much, let's say, I don't know, 70 or so. And you can see that this is trying to follow along. Uh, what I'll do is I'll just move it up a little, okay? And hit S again. So the whole idea here, and you can already see that that's going on, is as I move this object, the end cloth follows along, okay? So to relate back to that video about the uh, pirate sail, if you um, attach the sail in this way and you have a ship that's moving, turning around, going up and down or whatever, your sail will stay in place and will um, react accordingly, okay? We're gonna jump back to frame one. I'm just gonna hit play and let's see what happens. Again, it's gonna be fairly slow, but you should be able to see what I was talking about. You can see that the gravity is doing its work. Uh, as the object suddenly stops, you can see that the end cloth objects have the tendency to go up. This could actually be a pretty neat way to model a squid or something like that. Looks pretty cool. And as you stop, you can see that the end cloth objects are coming back in. Let's see if they actually collide with my object and not go straight through. And you can see that they actually collide, which is perfect. Now, of course, once you batch render this out, it will look much more like a fluent animation. Uh, for now, it's uh, very choppy because of the, uh, the impact on the memory, okay? So that is pretty much all that there's to it, guys. That's what I wanted to share with you. Uh, hopefully, you enjoy it. If you have any questions, let me know, as always. And that said, uh, thank you guys for your support. Thanks for watching, and see you guys next time. Bye.